Welcome to another episode of our cyber safety series, where we give you tips on staying safe online. In this video, we're covering phishing. No, not the kind with boats and water and worms, the kind spelled with a P-H. So what is phishing? Phishing is the process of scammers tricking you into giving them your personal information. It's typically done through electronic messages, such as emails or text messages, and the scammer sends you messages while posing as an official institution to get you to respond in some way. An example of a common phishing scam is an email that appears to be from your bank, an online store, or some subscription service that you might have. The email looks legitimate, saying something like there's a problem with your account and you need to click a link to log in so that you can fix that problem. The link will bring you to a website that also looks legitimate, but when you type in your email and password into the site, yes, even if you do not hit the submit button, they now have access to your information. And chances are you use that same password and email address for many websites, which they now have access to. So how do you protect yourself from phishing? If you receive an email, like in the previous example, don't follow the link. Instead, navigate to the institution's website separately and log in at their official portal. If you do click the link, check the URL of the website where the link brings you. It should match the URL of the institution that emailed you. Scammers will often have very similar URLs to the organization they're pretending to be. So be vigilant. Another reason to avoid clicking links is that some links could be dangerous. They may download files to your computer or mobile device. Keep your software updated to help protect your computer from new security threats. Use different passwords for different services. We know this can get annoying and difficult to manage, but if a scammer gets one password, they won't be able to access other services that use that same username if you use different passwords. Lastly, use multi-factor authentication when available. If a scammer gets a password you use for multiple things, they will still need access to your cell phone or other device in order to log into any accounts that use multi-factor authentication. That's all for now. Stay safe out there.